From July 17, 1936 till April 1, 1939, a Spanish Civil War took place where the Republicans fought against the Second Spanish Republic, basically a war between democracy and fascism. There was a lot of support from conservatives for the Republican government who wanted a more fair and stable system. Can you imagine living in a world where the government controls your money, limits you to certain health care, and even food? I know pretty scary stuff to hear that you will be limited to amount of Twinkies you can buy. Gosh no, kill myself. Maybe America isn't so bad after all. David Alfaro Siquero was a Mexican social realist painter, better known for his large murals and fresco. Him and Diego Rivera and Jose Clemente Orozco established Mexican muralism. This art movement was the promotion of mural painting starting in the 1920s, generally with social and political messages as part of efforts to reunify the country under the post-Mexican Revolution government. Typically, these murals would be specifically large-scale wall paintings in civic buildings. Siqueiros himself played a role in the military for the Mexican Revolution at the age of 18. Not only that, but he also even fought in Spain for the Spanish Republic against fascists and their German Nazi bakers. Having this real-life experience with war, David was able to explicitly create these paintings and murals that portrayed the Spanish Civil War and the Mexican Revolution in the eyes of a former soldier and even himself as a citizen. Now, David also had a rebel side. He was sentenced to jail for five years for supporting a railroad workers union in 1959. What was crazy also that I discovered that he even backed the new Cuban government and its leader, Fidel Castro. Here are some examples of Mexican muralism. As you, this one particular is from California, and then this one was pretty odd. Now let's actually look at some artwork done by Siqueiros himself. This one specifically was done in 1964. It's a mural, and it is called Dal Porfirismo a la Revolución. This one's pretty graphic, um, yeah, as you can see, there's a black man being strangled, tortured, what seems to be white people, and then as we move down to the picture, there's also blood just gushing down from his head, and then this relates to how fascism also was part of it since it was known to be that nationalists were pretty racist, aka Trump, but like, you know, gotta deal with them. So yeah, if you're interested in this one, it's called Kane in the United States, and it's located in Museo de Arte Moderno, and also created in 1947. Now this one is called Peasant Mother and it is located also in the Museo de Arte Moderno. This one was created in 1962 during the period of social realism. And as you can see, it's a indigenous mother just holding her baby. And in the background, it's just cactus so it's trying to say like even though she's alone she, she cares for her children no matter what so this is the artwork that i chose it's called echo of a scream it's a four by three the mediums that were used was enamel paint on wood and it is also located in the museum of modern art in new york city this painting is a response to the horror of the Spanish Civil War. 
Having the screaming baby on top of the debris of the destruction from the war symbolizes humanity at the time of helplessness and pain. Siqueiros used psychoanalytical theory when creating this art piece since he was in the military and was living when the Spanish Civil War was happening. With this, he decided to use a baby crying as a representation of himself crying for peace. I questioned why a baby? From my research, I came to a conclusion that he used a baby since it is so gentle and symbolizes birth and youth. The Democrat supporters wanted a rebirth of a new government that actually cared for its citizens, not one that made decisions without the people being able to have a say. Now, as we get a closer look at the artwork, you can see on the top right corner there is a dark smoke coming out and that is from the factories and many industries that were taking place at the time of industrialization. On the top left, there is a half-dead tree just begging for some water. As we move down, the baby is clearly very skinny and has no shoes. Having no shoes is telling us how poverty was a big issue at the time as well as the few resources available. Now let's pay attention to the background, which is all the debris and trash that the baby is sitting on. The distinction of the trash is that we can clearly see what is like the shells, broken cannons, and probably rifles broken. Safe to say it is the aftermath of the war. Only left behind is the destruction it left. The red cloth that the baby is wearing symbolizes fresh blood still oozing out of his body. Siqueiros used a dark valley in colors to represent a very dark and catastrophic period of time. We can clearly see that the focal point of the artwork is the baby's head and the body. The form is a two-dimensional piece in which there is a horizon that leaves the baby's head in the middle. This is emphasizing what the artist wants the viewers to mostly pay attention to. The type of lines used were organic and geometric, since the trash is just on top of each other, giving it a flowing look, but also geometric to the legs and head and part of the trash. This is the artwork I made. I created it using clay, paint, and a 3D printer. The part that is 3D printed is the gray circle with yellow stripes on it that is supposed to be the stadium of a soccer field. It's supposed to be a memorial of a Chapecoense plane crash that left only 6 out of 77 passengers alive. The soccer team was on its way to play a championship until tragedy happened, and the numbers around the walkway is blue, has the jersey numbers of the players who passed away. So imagine this is the home stadium of the soccer team. I plan to have a memorial built next to the stadium where fans can go and visit to always remember the ones that had passed away in the horrific crash. David Siqueiros motivated me to do something that was small but had a lot of meaning behind it. Challenge questions. What was the art movement Siqueiros was part of? What was the name of the war that was happening when the art piece was created? Mm -hmm.